Hi everyone! Hello! Hey, Martha and Kamal here with Veggie Soul Food. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome 2021. Right? Oh my gosh, it's true. This is yeah. our first video of the year. So glad to be back. Today we're actually going to make vegan quiche and I made this on Christmas Eve, remember? Yeah. It was oh, so yeah, good. I remember. <laughs> it was so good and um, I didn't have a recipe. So we actually worked out the recipe. We're going to show you guys how to make it today. But I'm before saying. we do that, I want to uh, encourage you guys, check out our Instagram. Kamal has been crushing it on Instagram this whole month of Veganuary. Veganuary, Veganuary exactly. January. Giving away cookbooks and everything, and she's posting every day some really cool stuff. So make sure you check out our Instagram if you haven't. So let me walk through what we're going to cook, okay? Now what you'll see here are three pie crusts. They were just frozen mm -hmm. pie crusts and we thawed them out. You'll notice three, the recipe is going to be for one quiche, but I'm making three because me and Lando get two and I'm sending one home with you. <gasps> really? <laughs> really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's three fry cuts. And then we have some shredded daya. Mm. And then over here, we actually have some roasted vegetables. So what I did was I have a special mix for roasted vegetables. Obviously, the recipe will be in the notes. Mm. So these have been roasted. They're and good. then So good. Yeah. And I use this for a lot of recipes. Yeah. And then we have some sauteed kale and mm. tofu and onions with garlic and other things. Mm. So we're going to mix this all together, pop it in the pie crust, and then we're going to bake it on 400 degrees. And that's it. Oh, so easy. So easy. Wow. So what we're gonna do is just mix our vegetables together. And these are a little bit wet because I didn't drain them. When you guys broil your vegetables, you can actually put a strainer rack in the bottom if you want. So basically that's your quiche, right? Yeah. So we're gonna mix in the cheese. Now all you're gonna do is really just spoon it into the pie crust. Mm. Well, what are you doing? You're squishing it? it down. No, I am squishing it down. <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm squishing it down because these are really full. Tell, no, that's what I'm saying. Tell everybody what you're doing. I am <laughs> squishing down the quiches. Okay, so do all of them. And then after you squish them, they are tall. I'm going to top it with a little bit more cheese. Now, sure. the vegetables will cook down a little. Mm. So it doesn't matter if they're a little bit tall. Let's just top it with a little bit of cheese. Spill more. Just <laughs> top it a little. Mm. I know. It actually looks good. Do you want mm -hmm. more added to one? I think that's fine. Okay, so we basically have one bag of daya per quiche, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. So one eight ounce bag or seven point whatever ounce bag, 7.1 ounce bag, yes. which used to be eight, but anyway. Oh, per quiche. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna open another one. So this is our fourth bag because mm. Kamal wants it super cheesy. Yeah. Because her and her husband like it super cheesy. Mm. So now we have all three ready. The next step is we're gonna put these in the oven on 400 degrees, but here's the tricky thing. Mm -hmm. These go directly on your oven rack. So you want the bottom of the pie crust to cook as well, so you don't mm -hmm. need to put it on a cookie sheet or anything, mm -hmm. but since it's going directly on the oven rack, make sure that you line your oven with foil or something like mm -hmm. that because since we are all super cheesy, yeah. um, if some of it drips over, you don't wanna yeah. mess up your oven. Yeah. They are just out of the oven. Look at how beautiful these are. Fresh out of the Yay. oven. 20 minutes on 400 degrees, no uh, cookie sheet, just on the oven rack. They're still piping hot, but mm -hmm. man, that looks good. So we're gonna let these cool down a little bit and then we will be right back with our taste test. Taste test time, <gasps> yay! Yeah, I'm hungry, <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> so everything is cool, so let's go ahead mm. and just, ooh. It smells cheesy. Yeah, you want it. Oh, it's look at that. Oh. All right, you try it. Wow. A little bit messier than I anticipated, but that's fine. I liked it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The crust looks so good. It does look so good. Oh my gosh. It's still, is it hot? Still too hot? No, it's fine. I'll, I'll eat it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's really good with the crust. Yeah? Oh man. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as good as the one we made on Christmas Eve? Yes. Nice. Okay. Yes, that's really so, good. That's, that's a wrap. really good. We will write it up for you guys. It's really good. Awesome. I'm so glad you wrote the recipe for this. Excellent. <laughs> and it didn't take long. Of course, no, everything that we do it. is easy. Right? Yeah. And now exactly. I can make it at home now that I have the recipe. With just basic ingredients. I mean, basically tofu and vegetables, I love it. right? So easy. Perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So thank you guys. Mm. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, like I said. Check mm -hmm. out our website. We have downloads, free ebooks, mm -hmm. and everything on our mm -hmm. website. 
and we will see you next time. Thank mm. you. Bye. Bye. Lunchtime. Mm-hmm. <laughs>